Uh, all right, what's going on ladies and gents? Welcome back, finally, to another video. Um, and I want to talk today about what I want to do modding the bike, um, how I've modded the bike so far, and specifically one upgrade that I've made, uh, which you might be able to hear, which is the exhaust. So now the lockdown has essentially been, well, it's been relaxed, it's not been lifted, but, um, yeah, now it's been relaxed, there might be a, a few more videos coming, um, hopefully. Now that I can actually get out on the bike, um, what it's been like, nine weeks now. Without going for a ride properly, so, um, yeah, it's nice to be, it's nice to be back out and actually going for a proper ride without the fear of getting stopped by the police and getting fined. Um, hope everyone's doing alright. Hope everyone can sort of understand the new rules uh, as it applies to them. I mean, the, people say it was confusing, right? People say it was. I'm talking about Boris Johnson's address to the nation. People say it was confusing, but uh, I don't think it was that confusing. I just think you've got to, you know, you've just got to use a bit of common sense. Um, but I will leave, I'll leave in the description a link to uh, Matt Lucas, the uh, the comedian that does a lot of stuff with David Williams. He did an impression of Boris Johnson and it was absolutely hilarious. I'll leave that in the description. I'll also leave in the description a link to the exhaust I've now got on the bike. Um, so you can go and check them out. Uh, I believe it's one of the only places that sell arrow exhausts in the UK, but I don't know that for a fact. Um, but it's the only place I could find online that would deliver. So anyway, yeah, I hope everyone's doing okay, um, considering we've been inside for like nine weeks. You know, it is what it is. I'd rather be inside than uh, be in a hospital bed. So yeah, the, f the first sort of, um, it's not really an upgrade, but it's a, a change I made to the bike is I got rid of the, um, the windscreen. Um, now obviously it's a naked bike and it just, it just didn't look right with the windscreen. It just looks, it looks more aggressive. It looks like it should do, I believe, with the, um, the windscreen taken off. So that's why I've done that. Um, I did actually record this whole video earlier, so I'm a little bit annoyed. Um, I recorded the whole video, but my mic was just in the, like, it was straight in front of my face. So it was just, the quality was awful, so I'm doing it again. Um, so yeah, that's the first sort of mod I made, or it's already a mod, but I, I took the windscreen off because um, it looks better. Another thing I want to do, um, I want to get rid of these mirrors and get some, some of the ones that sort of hang down. Um, Sort of under the handlebars, I think they look they look pretty nice. Um, the hang guards, I'm not really sure about. Um, I think they look pretty good, but you know, I'm not sure whether I'm going to be able to get sort of the hang down mirrors without removing them. Um, so I guess we'll figure that out when it comes to it. by that fucking blue car that wasn't indicating, that was pretty good. I've also been looking at uh, graphics kits for the bike. Um, yeah, you can get some pretty some pretty funky designs. Um, but again, it's, it's just more money that, you know, I'm only going to have the bike for two years. I've planned to do my A2 as soon as I turn 19, so... Um, it's just sort of personal opinion, you know. One thing you can do with the exhaust is, uh, and that I haven't done is remove the uh, catalytic converter. Now, I've not done it because you need to, if you're going to do that, you also need to put a piggyback in, which is essentially it um, controls the air fuel ratio, so you've got the right amount of uh, air fuel mix going to the cylinder. And that's, you know, that's another 100 quid on top of the link pipe, which is another 100 quid to replace the catalytic converter, and 
I'm not really sure that's worth spending 200 quid just to get an obnoxiously loud bike on a 125. Um, so yeah, I don't think I'm going to be getting a full system on it, but I have got the NCAN and it's got the baffle removed right now. I will say one thing is that on the GoPro video, the, the exhaust, it doesn't do it justice. It doesn't sound, I mean it sounds nice, but you know, if you actually hear it in real life and you could hear this exhaust, I mean it's just, it's so nice. And where I haven't taken the, the cat out yet, it's, it's not obnoxiously loud, but it's loud, which is good. Um, and it's got a nice sort of throaty tone to it, but it's not, you know, it's not completely obnoxious. But you get, when you rev match when you downshift, the little pops that it gives off is so nice. But I've got to be honest, guys, I'm absolutely loving the bike. For a 125, it, it is... It's amazing. Um, yeah, highly recommend it. I mean, obviously, there's different options out there with the Honda CB125R and the uh, the Yamaha MT125, and obviously, then you've got all the sport bike versions of those. And so it's it's personal preference. And I, you know, I don't think any particular 125 is going to have a massive power advantage or anything over the others. You know, I think they're all going to be relatively the same sort of specs. Um, you know, all the high-end uh, makes of 125s, but I mean, I just love the look of this bike. Um, yeah, no, the look of this bike, especially the front headlight, is something quite special, in my opinion. That's a fucking good place to stop, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I think with every bike, it's up to you know personal preference of what you wanna you wanna ride. I like the fact that, that you've basically got an iPad in front of you, so um, you know you've, you can control everything from the handlebars. And I've got I haven't got it yet, but I've got my phone hooked up to the bike. Um, right, so it turns out it's not my day today with cameras. Um, the camera cut out as I was recording the last bit of that video, but I just wanted to show you guys the. Uh, the exhaust itself. Um, so it's got the uh, the carbon tip, and I went with the black exhaust because it actually uh, looks pretty good with the the white bike. It sort of complements it. Um, and you can see what I mean by I've still got the the cat in there. Um, but I'm probably not going to bother taking that out. But yeah, the exhaust is. I mean, it's really easy to put on. Um, you get the link pipe and then the the can separately. Um, and yeah, it looks looks pretty nice. A lot nicer than the. Uh, the stock exhaust. You also get a new uh, bracket, not the original one. Um, this is a bit of a faff to sort of clamp this on and try and tighten it up at the same time. Um, but the hardest bit of this exhaust was putting this spring on. That's it's such a hard spring. Um, but they give you a tool and you sort of you know put one foot on the bike and you're yanking at it. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much that. As you can see. Um, it looks a lot nicer without the uh, the windscreen, and you can see what I mean about the headlight. Um, looks pretty nice. Um, but yeah, I think we'll uh, get rid of these mirrors and get some ones that, that drop down. And yeah, it should look should look pretty good. But I just wanted to show you guys the uh, the actual exhaust. Um, and as you can see, I've not got the baffle in, so there's just a, a fat hole there. <laughs> um, so I'll start up, and you can have a listen. this video guys I uh, hope you've enjoyed uh, please uh, subscribe and like if you can and yeah stay safe and I'll see you in the next one